uh, globalization really is, is being able to scale up any of the impacts of, of technology or innovation in general. So we see several examples in which a certain country or a certain company are benefiting for technology. But to apply that globally anywhere around the world and to different type of users, that's where in top of technology there is like a, a process and a simplicity innovation that needs to happen, which is how to expand the reach of those innovations, you know, wherever the, the customers or wherever the users are anywhere around the world. I think the, the key takeaways after the session are it's not about technology only, it's about creating an ecosystem and bringing together the technology and the partners and the transformation, even the culture of how things are being done in a big company or a small company. It doesn't really make any big difference to then generate that change, generate that transformation. And the other takeaway is try and learn from trying. So instead of analyzing possibilities for way too long, testing in a, in a control environment and then learning from that and being able to decide very quickly what works and how to scale or how to improve quick iteration. I think business leaders can really uh, learn from uh, what's happening in the startups ecosystem, the startup environment. Fail, thrive fast, learn fast and then correct and improve can be applied in the same way to a big company. So the whole understanding and embracing uh, risk and embracing change uh, is a big opportunity. It's not easy. You need to break a lot of the rules. We need to change the, the way that the things are done. So you need to have a kind of horizontal facilitation across the big uh, corporate models to then facilitate that quick learning and quick uh, application. And that's where you know, innovation really becomes a, a big driver, a big game changer for big companies. I think it, what's really going to change the way that innovation is being applied is uh, becoming a multi, um, a multidisciplinary model in which innovation coming elements coming from innovation from the marketing side, from the sales side, from the HR, the employee side, or the technology side blend together and collaborate together into creating that kind of cross-disciplinary uh, innovation. That's the real transformation because the old model in which technology was the main driver for innovation is no longer valid. So it needs to be a balanced cross-function innovation and uh, that's where success will, will start to happen. The main risk for this new model of innovation are the culture, you know, the old established culture, the old established rules and processes that are protecting companies from change. When you're protecting from change, you're not changing and not fast enough. So someone else will be doing that from the, from the competition out there in the market. So the kind of uh, creating a model in which that learning and that testing can be done uh, and then creating a, a, a way to uh, scale those things up and make them from just nice ideas and nice projects into big next products and next businesses. Those are the two secrets, the two key elements for this, the new, the new wave, the new model in which innovation can happen.